Congressman Cook. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> from the things that you've described today, you all must have done what uh, Captain Fenstermarker just indicated he has done, and that's think about these things a lot during the times when you didn't say too much anything publicly and after you've come out and started speaking, which again, I congratulate the two of you that have done that today for, I understand, the first time. So I think, I've got to say, I think your speculations are a lot more informed than what our speculations might be on this. So I'd like to start with Captain Salas, and each of you have also said, I think, if I'm wrong on this, correct me, but that you've, that you all complied as you were asked to do and required to do with the non-disclosure statements short, almost immediately after you described to your seniors in the military what you had just witnessed. Am I correct on that? Yes, sir. You, you didn't. See, I was involved in three uh, sightings three different bases, okay. and not one time did I have to sign okay. anything away. Okay, Sergeant Scott, I appreciate that clarification. But I'm right. For example, let's start with uh, Captain Salas. You signed those. Uh, absolutely, not sir. Okay, I so. Non-disclosure statement. Absolutely. And I think your, spec or your reasons that you might give this committee, this panel, as to both legitimate reasons why you might have been thinking over the years or at the time that the Air Force might have asked you to do that and the illegitimate reasons why they might have asked you to do that. There must, you must have some idea on both sides of this what, re, why did they make you come in and sign that right off the bat? I mean, and, and why were they then, why were you then here, the whole culture was don't talk about it or you're going to be in trouble. What were the legitimate reasons for that, if there, if any, if any, uh, or illegitimate reasons for that, I, if any? I think I discovered the main reason, and that is, is, is this one? Okay. Uh, that the counter investigation was ongoing at the time. Uh, okay. And the idea of the counter investigation basically was to give uh, uh, the Air Force a way out of, of investigating UFOs. And if they had allowed me to speak to the kind of investigator about my incident um, and, and Mr. Fiegel and Mr. Mywald and Mr. Carlson, uh, they would have discovered that this was really a serious problem. And so that, I think, was the primary reason they were so anxious to get us to sign these non-disclosure statements at the time. But, but that can also be very ill-legitimate, Ill am I right? From, I'm talking about from the airport, Air Force's standpoint. Well, if they, I mean if they were honest, see, if they were honest about this, yeah, that, that would have been they illegitimate. Have done, and my question is, what should they have done, and what should we start insisting the Air Force do? They should have been honest about it. I they should have been straightforward about it, and let the people handle it. Uh, this belongs with the people. Uh, the people should decide something of this import and not a small group of individuals in and out of government, which is what is going on right now. There is a small group of individuals inside government and outside government that are controlling this phenomenon. They're controlling the technology. They're controlling uh, what's said about it. They're spreading disinformation about it. They are controlling the press, I think. And... Um, and that's how they're keeping and, and keeping the ridicule factor going. Well, 1967 or 66, during your experience, that's four, that's that's 45 years ago. 46, 46 years ago. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Why aren't they releasing some of these statements by now? If you know, if you have any reasons for it, I mean, I, I just want to. I well, want to understand I, this as if best want, I can. There's no way to pry open a can unless you have the right tools to pry it open with. If you just want my opinion, I'll be yes, glad to. Yes, well, that's what I'm asking. I'm, I want to know an, anybody an opinion. else's opinion if you have one. I do think it's about power and greed. It, it is not about concern for public safety. Uh, that, that window passed a long time ago. Um, but right now, because they have discovered so much about how the, t of the technology uh, uh, and 
uh, many other things regarded to this phenomenon, including uh, paranormal subjects like uh, uh, telepathic thought, things like that, um, which are part of this phenomenon. We didn't talk about it, but it is part of the phenomenon. And the abductions that are going on, another part of this phenomenon. Uh, this is such a complex thing that uh, these secrets are so powerful that the, the men controlling this, men and women that are controlling this, uh, I think the main motivation is power and greed. Captain.